freaking huge. <laughs> What's up, Rapper fans? I'm at everybody's least favorite place right now, a gas station. But luckily, I'm not getting gas because I filled up before the 40 cent spike. So I want to know what gas prices are now in your area. Uh, right now, I'm at 4.39. Uh, but like I said, I got a full tank. I'm just trying to get out of this rain for a second to make room in my wife's car for a new set of tires. So I'm going to get back on the road and pick up this set of tires. They should be delivered uh, with an 18 wheeler, but because I live in a cul-de-sac, I prefer to pick them up or arrange some kind of meeting. Uh, since I got off early today on Friday, I'm going to go pick them up. I've never been to this facility before. So let's see how big and how many tires we can fit in this thing, uh, because this is just a little 07 Forerunner. And I'm not really sure if they're going to fit, but I just uh, pulled into this gas station to make some room in the back seat, cleared out the uh, dirty diapers from in here, and we're going to go see what we got. So they let me in this Old Dominion freight. I backed in because it's raining super hard. Uh, pretty cool. I get most of my tires delivered uh, through this company. So to answer the big question, how many Nittos will fit in this thing? I got three in the car and one on the roof because these are 42s. These are the tires that I got rid of my 38s for so that I can figure out exactly how much lift I need on this old truck to fit these on here. So I am uh, gonna make some modifications to my fenders to get these to fit, but let's get them to the house and see if I don't lose this one off the roof. Made it back to the house without losing that tire. And now that I got it out here, I wanna compare it to another tire. I've got a set of 37 by 1350 R20 mug wrappers over here. Uh, so these, I uh, don't know exactly what I'm doing with these yet. Um, I do have 20 inch wheels, but I wanted to put the 42s on the 20 inch wheels. These were kind of my backup set. So I ended up getting both tires. Um, and these are the ones I actually want because this is going to be more of the old school look because it's tall and skinny. Now, this is again a 42 by 1350 on a 20 inch wheel. Now, speaking of which, they're real skinny looking to me. Like they look crazy narrow compared to these mug grapplers but they're both 1350 wide tires like this is 37 1350 and then 42 1350 so i just measured them and from the seam here um it's easier to show you in the mug graph there's kind of a edge where the tread stops and the sidewall begins they're both one foot wide there so 12 inches and you get them kind of lined up next to each other they start to look more similar in size uh, but the mud grappler just was being such a round tire with these big sidewall lugs it's actually uh, about another inch and a half of sidewall so these come out to be like 14 inches wide whereas this one's like 12 and a half or so so uh, it's a much bigger tire being a 42 versus a 37 but it looks a lot skinnier and uh, that's kind of the look i'm going for on the old truck so uh, i'm gonna get the rest of these out it's starting to rain even harder but pretty excited about them can't wait to get my stock uh, 6.7 power stroke wheels on these and uh, just kind of test fit everything see how big i need to make my um, wheel wells and from there once everything starts coming together i will eventually get some old school looking wheels but for the time being the only thing you're going to be able to tell that this is a 6.7 is the factory wheels it's all going to be old school stuff it is a super windy day out here i thought it was going to be raining the whole time but the sun finally came out we're going to go get these tires mounted up, so I'm going to fire up the old 12 valve, see if we can get them uh, dropped off and have them mount them up for me, because I'm still in the middle of some house projects, so my wife's not going to let me go up there and take videos, but we'll see how good these things look when they're mounted on the 20-inch factory F-250 wheels. These tires smell so strong in here. I've had to have the door cracked. Uh, but I love the smell of some fresh nittos. I don't know if y'all know that smell, but if you put these things in a confined area, like a little shed or your garage, or like me in the back of my wife's Forerunner and then drove home uh, like 45 minutes with that smell in there, it's a smell you won't forget. You smell that bad. Nothing else in the world smells like that. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I'm excited to get these things mounted up. What side of the trail grapplers do y'all like better? I'm pretty curious. Uh, this is probably my preference, mainly because it has the uh, special font that I used um, for my decals. It's kind of like the stereotypical grappler font. Um, but on this side, you have a little bit more of just a, a square blocky font uh, and the detailing is a little bit different. 
on the sides there. Now these being a 42 by 1350 20, this is kind of a unique and new size. So you have a way bigger sidewall and uh, these lugs actually look a little different. Uh, my favorite of these trail grapplers is the 40 by 1350 for a 17. And I plan on getting a set of those for the project at some point. Uh, those have a whole extra chunk on the side just because they have so much sidewall and uh, it's kind of their off-road uh, heavy duty tire. So these are gonna look sweet, nice and skinny. Here are my factory 20 inch wheels. I've also got one of the uh, Falcon tires that is flat that came with this Dodge. So I'm gonna get that plugged so I can sell those. So let's get these things thrown in here and see if we can get them mounted up. Well, the GoPro just took a nice tumble. We just got the 42s dropped off and they're busy and so am I so I'm gonna go ahead and head back and uh, get to the house but can't wait to see these things on here all right after a good day of uh, getting stuff done I forgot how my gate works um, I'm gonna go pick up the tires now they just called me and said they were done and I want to try out the new gate again since I finally can drive out the back of my yard now um, and with that I have a bunch of big holes here from where I took some trees out and some mulch so we'll see how the old uh oh my gate's rolling away see how the old 12 valve wants to climb over this stuff uh, a couple real low holes there and then mounds here so we're gonna do a little mild off-road in the backyard and then go out the new driveway First look at them. Those are some dang tractor tires, man. They're so tall and skinny. That looks crazy. And they won't even stay up by themselves, hardly. That's wild. I can't believe how how wide it still looks, because next to just some 37s, they look skinny as heck. I know. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that looks good, man. Yeah, I appreciate your help getting those no, freaking man. set up. These things look crazy, and uh, you should have seen us trying to get them in here. I would have filmed it, but I was helping. We tried to get these up here. I actually could not pick one up with uh, air in it and the wheel. This is a heavy freaking setup right here. Uh, so we had to two man it. We got three of them in. Uh, one of them had the uh, other sidewall out, as you can see. Uh, this has like the extra ribbing. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the side I like. And just so they all match, they're about to flip one around real quick. So I'll show you all that. What would y'all say is harder, taking them on or off when they're this big? On. On? Okay. Because you got to pick them up. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> These aren't too bad because you got enough sidewalls on them that they flex. And when you get a lower... Yeah, I feel like everybody always... Sidewall is... 
Everybody gives me a harder time about the bigger wheels than the little wheels. That was just when you had the uh, thinner sidewalls on them. Yep. They're a lot stiffer. Because these aren't like a 10 or a 12 side. That's when they get rid of them. That's when everybody in the shop says, like, I'm sick, I need to go. <laughs> yeah. Freaking huge. <laughs> I'm gonna see if he's ready to, for me to pay him. I appreciate it. Alright. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I tried it like that. I tried it sideways. I wasn't happy. Yes, you gotta get it just right. I've never really seen this process. He's throwing a patch in here. Found a very small leak. That kind of explains my, my issue there. Had a couple. Uh, nails in the tire, but only one of them made it through it looks like And I thought this was pretty crazy over here. They got a blazer like the one I just had uh, Mine was a GMC Jimmy, but similar height and everything This thing is about as beat up as mine was too, but it looks like a good time I was just talking to him about it. Apparently the guy bought it and uh, the previous owner had put these lift blocks in it and didn't bolt the U, uh, tighten up the U-bolts right and the axle tried to fall out from under it. You can see this one, he is all crooked. So he had a sketchy rod, but oh, there's a little roll cage in here. This thing looks like fun. This is like the exact height mine was. What size of these Toyos? 37. So yeah, mine was on, uh, what were they? They were boggers. I think they were, I can't even remember what size they were. I'll have to go back to the other video. But I had some super swampers on mine. It's a good time though. I also wanted to mention the 6.7 power stroke over here. Uh, one of their customers just got new wheels and tires. Wanted to know what y'all thought. Looks like we've got some 35s on 22s, some fuel wheels. Ridge grapplers, looks pretty clean. Just some uh, Bilstein shocks. Looks like a small lift on here with new coil springs. Pretty clean. Uh, looks like they went from Toyos to Ridge grapplers. So that's pretty interesting. Let me confirm here. Yeah, those are Toyo RTs. And now they got the Ridge grapplers. So let me know y'all's opinion on that. I'm definitely a Nitto guy, but some people prefer Toyos. I'm more of a stock wheels guy though. So let me know what y'all think. The black does look pretty clean on here, uh, but 22s, I don't know, I might have st stuck with the stock wheels, y'all let me know. Alright y'all, it's the next day, and the weather cannot make up its dang mind, it is freaking freezing out here now. It's uh, middle of March, and it's 50 something degrees out, so I got my full bum look on, now staying warm and not worried about getting dirty. I'm about to figure out the brake situation on my Toyota pickup, because the gas prices right now are not conducive to driving the Bronco to work. That's why in the start of this video, I was driving my wife's 4Runner, but between the Bronco and the 4Runner, those are only cars that will fit a car seat because the Dodge is just an extended cab, Toyota is a single cab, and all my projects in the truck, they may be crew cabs, but they don't work. They uh, might run, but they don't stop. They're not street legal, and they need a lot of work. So I'm gonna pull the Toyota in here. As you can see, we made a lot of room last night. Uh, it's still a mess in here. Hopefully when the shop's built, I can get all my tools out of here make a little bit more room uh, but I'm gonna try to get the Toyota in here out of the breeze and everything because it's kind of chilly out figure out what's going on with the brakes I'm gonna start with taking off the tires just kind of figure out where it's leaking from and uh, probably throw some new brake pads on it while I'm at it because they've been squealing some so yeah let's fire her up see if she'll fit in here this little thing is adorable and I gotta remind myself that uh, it's not the Dodge when I drive the Dodge I feel like I'm still in this little go-kart and I'm just like driving way too quickly where it's more of a tractor and uh, this thing is legitimately a go-kart. It's like smaller than 
a little car sedan, honestly. It's freaking tiny. All right. I got the front end up in the air now, uh, just with some factory jacks. Uh, my All my jack stands are being used in the backyard right now. And I just sat on some paint. What the heck? My wife's freaking painting these things in here. I totally just like put my butt right in that. Nice. Anyway, got this thing sitting up here on some jacks. Um, not the prettiest sight, but we get these tires off real quick and see what's going on. Um, I know you should use jack stands, but I'm using the two jacks and this thing weighs like 500 pounds. Uh, but like I said, jack stands are in the backyard until I get those 42s mounted up on the project truck. I do have the back tire chalked and the parking brake on. Uh, you can see this thing is free here. So we're going to start blasting with the impact gun. See if we can't figure out the problem. I'm tightening. LOL. Trying to film while working sometimes backfires a little bit. Look at this little baby tire. It's so cute. So, so cute. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. What a tiny little truck. So I'm thinking that my leak lies somewhere in here on the passenger side. I see there's a lot of brake line uh, coils here with a lot of grease and stuff on them. I thought this was all part of my oil leak uh, for this thing having 200,000 miles. It does leak some oil, but it seems like I'm actually running into a brake line leak now um, in this little junction spot. So I'm going to figure out where that's coming from, try to clean it up, do a little leak check, maybe tighten it up. And uh, if I need to replace some lines, we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to check my brake pads too while I'm in here. They definitely, definitely make some noise. You can see, uh, this is a good look at, see how these are clean right here, this spot of the rotor? That's where the brake pads were. Uh, you can see that surface rust just from, you know, a week or so of not driving. That's crazy how quickly that stuff builds up. My truck in the backyard is terrible because it's been months since that thing's been driven. But I'm not sure here. Let's look right through here. Get an idea. So I've got my leak narrowed down to somewhere down in here on the passenger side in the engine bay here. Uh, so the brake booster is obviously here. Uh, but then you got lines that go over the engine on the firewall. And then uh, it starts getting real dirty down there. So I know I have a leak somewhere in there. Everything's freaking covered though. So I'm going to take some uh, brake parts cleaner and just go to town on that real quick. Try to get it clean. And then I'm gonna try to pump the brakes, maybe bleed them a little bit, see if I can figure out where it's oozing out. I can't find my little hose for bleeding brakes, but I just rigged this up uh, to catch it. So I've got this loosened up right here, and I'm gonna go pump the brakes and see if we can get a little bit of bleeding action, and then figure out where this is leaking from. After a lot of fighting this thing, I think I found my leak and now I'm just bleeding the brakes. I started with the one farthest away here and the way the lines go across and back. Uh, the one that has the longest lines is the driver's side rear. So did that one, then uh, passenger rear, and then that one again. And now this guy just broke off in my ratchet. So that's super exciting. That's supposed to go there. Uh, it's stuck on tight right now, so I'm not able to bleed it. So I'm going to keep messing with that. Um, I'm going to give you a little update, but not doing as much filming as I planned because this thing is kicking my butt. All right, cruising at about 40. I'm going to hit the brakes. Yeah, feels totally normal. And then I need to downshift. All right. Yeah, it's feeling good. Test drive went well. I also uh, had time to mess with my wife's car a little bit. Just rotated her tires and checked it over real quick for the week. I like to do a little bit of maintenance when I can. I cannot wait to get a shop where I can put these things up on a lift, change the oil real quick, change the tires out, uh, maybe even get my own tire machine. So every time I decide to do a new setup with some nittos, I don't have to go pay to get them mounted. Uh, but with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video for the week. I hope to get back to y'all next week with another vlog of just kind of what I've been up to and uh, keep y'all posted on the project as well. So thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out Grappaholics on Facebook and Instagram.